As electric power came to American cities in the 1880s, a young American boy born in Worcester, Massachusetts, started his lifelong interest in science and technology. This boy would become one of the world's most influential rocket scientists. In this video, we will briefly discuss the life of Robert Goddard, the man considered to be the father of modern rocketry. As a five-year-old, he was fascinated by static electricity generated from the family's carpet. To further the young Robert's scientific interests, his father provided him with a microscope, a telescope, and a subscription to Scientific American. As a teenager, Robert's preoccupation with flight and science fiction took hold of his imagination. It was during this time that Garda dreamt of spaceflight to Mars. In 1920, Robert Goddard's paper, A Method of Reaching Extreme Altitudes, was published by the Smithsonian Institute. The paper outlined the theories of rocket propulsion. It also mentioned the possibility of a rocket reaching the moon. This was negatively received and ridiculed by reporters, instilling in Goddard a lifelong distrust of the public media. On March 16, 1926, Robert Goddard tested the first rocket using liquid fuel in Auburn, Massachusetts. The 2.5 second flight saw the rocket rise 41 feet. This milestone demonstrated that liquid field rockets were a possibility. NASA describes this event to be as momentous as that of the Wright brothers at Kitty Hawk. As time goes on, the significance of Robert Goddard's legacy continues to grow. For more information on this subject, as well as other aerospace-related topics, please visit us at www.sigmarockets.com.